Hey Fithead, Cigar Surgeon here with another Cigar Federation video review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Casada Keg. This is the 2016. Right up front you can see one of the big differences between the 2015 and the 2016 is the band update. I'm a huge fan of the new band. I think it's very stylish, very cool, very up to date. Um, a little bit about the blend. Using that Pennsylvania broadleaf and you can tell that, I mean, you can definitely tell it's broadleaf. So the blend is actually unchanged between the 2015 and the 2016. So this essentially is a re-release with some slightly updated packaging in terms of the band. Um, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler. Today we'll be smoking the Lonsdale, which is uh, 6 inches by 44 ring gauge. If you followed my reviews, you know I'm a huge fan of the smaller ring gauge Vitolas. So we've already kind of gone into this cigar on sharing our pairings. You check it out. We did a bunch of pairings with different beers. Had uh, Terrence Riley, the uh, general manager for Casada Brand, on the show. It was a lot of fun. Check it out. At any rate, uh, we're going to get right into it because I really enjoyed the cigar on the show. But obviously my palate wasn't clean because I was drinking beer. So I'm excited to revisit this and uh, check it out. All right, so we're going to do a nose of this bad boy. And of course, exactly what you'd expect off a broadleaf wrapper. Just lots of uh, leather, rich, dark tobacco. Lots of cedar. Maybe some spice underneath. And some sweetness. Sort of that sweet, if you've ever smelled a polone, um, that there's a there's a sweet tobacco scent. It's unmistakable. Get a lot of that off the wrapper. Tons of sweetness off the foot, actually, almost like molasses. Quite surprising. At any rate, I mean, it smells fantastic. But uh, I'm going to get uh, lighting and cutting here because uh, I want to smoke this bad boy. I'm really excited to, to try this in a fresh palate. Use my single torch, give this a nice uh, toast, and by the time I'm done toasting and cut, it should just light right away. The benefit, of course, is that you're not drawing hot gases into the cigar, which changes the flavor profile. The cigar is uh, ultimately blended to provide a certain temperature of the draw, which is why they roll the cigar in a particular way, why they select leaves in a particular way. It's very important. So, as it was, as it was explained to me, is the lighting process can really impact the first 10 or 15, even more 20 minutes of cigar smoking experience. So you got to be really careful. So that's pretty good. Managed to not scorch the wrapper, which is important. Use my patented V-cut. Of course, it's not my patented V-cut. It's Zycar's patented V-cut. Lots of leather. Going to let that first third settle into a retro hail, see what else comes up. So talking about the draw. The, with the V-cut, it's perfect. Maybe, if, if anything, slightly on the tight side. But on a Lonsdale, you probably want that. You want a little bit of resistance. You don't want it open. Um, definitely getting that leather. There's some trailing sweetness to it. Some nice, rich spices on the retrohale. Not very hot in terms of um, intensity. It's like a um, medium minus. Great start. Looking forward to the rest of the cigar. So as the first third starts to settle in, I'm reminded of the pairing show. There's some um, chewiness to it. And by that I mean it's got a very thick mouthfeel, almost like um, a, a thick malt or a molasses. So you get that sweetness and then you kind of mull it over in your mouth for a little while, maybe uh, a minute, two minutes between draw. It's really nice. I mean, it definitely slows you down between draws that you want. You don't want to smoke a Lonsdale too fast. The... Spices from the retro hail, there's a little bit of a pepper chaser, and it does have some bite to it. It's lingering a little bit, so I can kind of feel it at the back of my nose, I can feel it at the back of my throat, um, and again, it, it just adds to the complexity post-draw, um, which we don't really necessarily talk about a lot when we're doing cigar reviews is post-draw flavors, but this cigar has a lot of post-draw flavors as well as the regular draw. One thing we talk about occasionally reviews and we try not to let impact our overall score is the price point. Why don't we like to impact the score? Well, <clears throat> because price is subjective. Everyone has a particular price threshold. Some people prefer cigars below a certain price point. Some people buy cigars above a certain price point. What's the price of the Casada Keg Lonsdale? Well, it might surprise you. It's $5.95. $5.95. At a time where cigars are kind of reaching the eight, nine, ten dollar mark, that's remarkably approach approachable considering it's got a Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper on it. 
which is not cheap tobacco. Um, the other thing to mention is these come packaged in a really cool keg. It's like a pony keg of 21 cigars, which is kind of cool packaging, again, sort of carrying through that theme from 2015. So at the start of the draw, there's this really rich sweetness. It's like a honey or like a, a honey roasted peanut. Uh, it goes away really quick because the, the broadleaf, I think, wrapper just overpowers it. But, I mean, there's a lot of complexity here. I don't think you have to really go looking for it, but it'd be very easy to smoke this cigar and not be paying attention to all the flavors that are present. I'm very impressed with the first inch. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this cigar with a milk stout. I think when we did the Shanghai Pairing Show, we did a lot of uh, regular, or at least I did a lot of Imperial Stouts, and it wasn't quite the right mix. A little overpowering for the cigar. Didn't really allow the cigar to shine, so I think milk stouts will be the way to go. Just passing the 30-minute mark, and the retro hail is evolving quite a bit. Moving away from the spices and pepper, more of a um, rich, thick sweetness. Again, um, the sweetness on the post draw it's got a lot of chewiness to it, so it kind of slows down your smoky experience because you're kind of taking a, a retrohale or a draw, you're kind of chewing on it for a bit, letting the cigar rest and maintain a good temperature, and then coming back to it. It's really, really good. Just passing the 45-minute mark, and as the cigar starts to transition to the middle third, the retrohale has got a lot of sweet cedar at the tr sort of trailing edge of the retrohale, so you're still getting a lot of that um, richness up front. And then the finish of the retrohale is this just really full-bodied, uh, sweet, rich cedar. A lot of um, really dry cedar in the regular draw. It's good. We'll see how the middle third evolves here. Coming up in the middle of the middle third, uh, spice is returning in the retrohale, but it's still pushed to the side compared to the uh, rich, sweet cedar here. Past the 1 hour 10 mark, the cedar's coming back, starting to take over the profile from start to finish. Still finishing with a little bit of leather. Um, not much else really to report, so we'll see how the last third here kind of uh, evolves. As the last third starts to settle in here, there's a lot of leather post draw, undoubtedly from that Pennsylvania Broadleaf wrapper. It's kind of settling in. As it started out, there was that, that really chewy, malty sweetness. That's kind of being pushed aside here by the leather. I think the leather's really just completely dominating the post draw. Wrapping up the review of the Casada Keg 2016, very, very tasty. Taking price out of the equation, fantastic cigar. I think it's going to be a pretty easy choice as a box split. At the price point that it's at, I think it's a pretty easy box buy. I've really enjoyed this. I'm going to really enjoy sitting down with a milk stout and seeing how this performs in a milk stout. Hope you've enjoyed the review. Make sure to check out a written review or group review at CigarFederation.com. If you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up. Throw us your comments, drop us an email. Thanks very much for checking out another cigar review at cigarfederation.com.